here's a better shot of the stitching. You can see it's a shiny white thread. So, like I say, I'm assuming there was something, some, maybe synthetic in it. And so it has, uh, the fabric has torn away instead of the thread coming apart, which I think you would prefer the thread to give way because you could redo the stitching. But also, it was just like wrapped around and around and around here. So I think that someone has just kind of stitched around and around and around, like maybe it started with the little hole and they tried to kind of force it closed. But what happened is the, the material just torn away instead. So I'm going to try with the cotton thread and just ladder stitch these parts back together. Now you can see there's a dart line here. It goes down a ways to there, and there's horizontal stitching there across. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Just see if my finger in here. Here, or there's a, the direction it, that's just tacked. I mean, stitched across. So I think I would go leave that there, and then maybe let out above that tack to reduce the strain on this area. So I may do that. I'm just not sure because. Um, uh, I mean, maybe I could do it on both sides because that would be symmetrical at least. So I'd rather leave it as much uh, um, in as much original condition as possible. Um, but that might be a sensible fix and maybe a preventive for the future. So I may just try on this side because the other side does seem okay and strong. So I may just do that here. Uh, to reduce, like, I will um, put it back together, and then I'm going to try it on and see if it still seems like, you know, it's precarious, in which case I will let that out to, to try to ease, uh, allow some ease into this area. Because I am going to wear this dress, so I think dresses were, this dress was made to be worn, and it's nearly 100 years old. So, um, there's some hand stitching there, you can see some running stitches. So, I, I would like to, to, uh, to wear it occasionally. And, uh, so I'm just going to see if it can help make it wearable. Okay, looking here, and this is uh, the sleeve uh, seam. You can see this is likely the original stitching, which is not shiny. And then this, which went down. To this area here. So likely. Someone tried to repair this. Uh, with that shiny thread so later. So that came later, I would think it was done later. And I don't know, they, they, what they ended up doing, I think, is just putting more stress on the that area and not really stitching it in a way that was going to help bring it together. It was just, uh, with, with further tension, it was just going to it apart. Um, so that's interesting. That's what I suspect. So someone tried to repair this and um, did it in a way that um, didn't seem to have helped. So hopefully I can help support and put it back together so that it can be wearable again. It's really cool seeing these hand stitches. There's a running stitch in here. But yeah, this is a 1930s feed sack dress. Okay, so I've gotten this out of the dress. This shiny white thread. I've cleaned up the edges. So, I'm 
going to try to ladder stitch the, these parts together. This might need some darning. This is pretty delicate here. Okay, and there is. That's pretty delicate there. So I'm gonna see. Might need some darning. Uh, whether it would hold that even. Anyhow, I'm going to try to ladder stitch. And, uh, and then uh, redo the sleeve stitching. I let out this dart. Uh, undone this stitching just to that tack point. I showed earlier, just a little above, and I will reinforce that stitching, and I think I will let that out on the other side as well, um, because just to be symmetrical, and anyone could see then, you could still see the stitch line and see that it had been there, so, and the people will also see this repair and realize why I had let that dart out, I think. So, ladder stitch. Uh, this thread seems a good match. I uh, This used to belong to my aunt. Okay, and this is the repair. I did a ladder stitch and just... Um, also re um, reinforced with some darning just continuous stitches and um, this is where the ladder stitch was on each side and then what I did was there was a little overlap here and so I folded over the raw edge and back stitched down through and uh, ladder stitch where the damage was on the sleeve join as well, uh, combined with some darning stitches, and a lot of the damaged area is now in the seam allowance. So you, it's, and I let the dart out on each side. There was a, a little bit starting also on the right side, but the same sort of stress uh, under the arm, and I did a, just a small area of, was weak, and, and I did a ladder stitch there and then there were a couple of areas that along the sleeve seam that had let go so I just um, restitched those let the dirt out on the other side is on the right side too and so to match up and just reinforce the stitches uh, just at the point where I had uh, let the dirt out and actually the, the point of the stitches across was for the belt loop. So it was just a little bit above there. I started to let out the dart and then so I just reinforced some stitches here on each side in that area. Uh, I can turn it inside out to show more of the repair, I guess, just a sec here. So this is the right side under the sleeve. I just did a, a little louder stitch. There wasn't much. It was just a little um, strained. Threads were starting to get it was starting to get a little threadbare in a patch there. So I just pulled that together with a uh, ladder stitch, but I, I don't put too much tension in that because I don't want tension, I want ease um, to support. And then there were some areas of the, the sleeve seam that had come out, so I just restitched was a couple of spots. I Spots. So the right side was pretty in pretty great shape. The left side. Okay, so these are the little um, little bit of reinforced stitching where I let the dart out under the arm. That dart goes all the way down, goes way down the side. Um, and here, ladder stitch. And then was back stitched through from the 
overlap on the top and I don't um, the ladder stitch is not tight like it's just I like to keep ease in that just want to support and uh, again ladder stitch continues up along this the seam allowance so that I had separated so it's part of the a lot of that damaged area is part of the seam allowance now and uh, the stitch line here so a lot of this isn't damaged area isn't seen on the outside of the dress and that was I uh, used a combination of ladder stitch to to um, pull together that piece of seam allowance because it was a pretty narrow and also some darning just some uh, continuous threads on the uh, along for support and I also did ladder stitch on the other side but that's in the seam allowance now and stitched the sleeve seam and ended up that most of that damage is in the seam allowance now as I said so it's not visible on the outside of the dress and this seems a uh, fairly um, strong piece of area of the fabric uh, where the new seam line is so hopefully it won't um, be a problem again I'm happy with how that um, turned out. I think I'm hoping that makes it wearable. Um, and we'll be doing a f more in depth look at the construction of this dress in the future. So, if you enjoy this content, please consider liking, subscribing, or commenting. I'd love to hear what you think uh, about these repairs. I um, This is really the first. Uh, uh, of this type of garment, like an antique garment that I've tried to do um, repairs on. It's the first one I've bought that needed repairs, um, but I'm happy with how they came out. But I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, about this dress, and or I'm just I, I'm very interested in your thoughts. So please do feel free to comment, and um, if you're interested in this content. Please consider subscribing. Um, I really appreciate you watching. So take care. Falling off like crazy. This year we'll make some bountiful harvests.